In today's video, we got the first official image of the LEGO Star Wars Summer 2023 $45 Mandalorian Season 3 set. Let's take a look at it. So yes, welcome back everyone to another LEGO video. And today I have the first image of the actual LEGO Star Wars Summer Wave set, uh, being the set number 75361, 45 US dollars, 526 pieces, and it's supposed to be based off Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 2, three minifigures and uh, yeah some pretty cool things in here and a little to kind of set the tone here it's 10 42 p.m i woke up kind of late like 20 minutes ago uh, my source sent me this picture a couple hours ago when i woke up i saw it i was afraid he was asleep and i'm like you know damn i asked him like can i post it like what can i do with it uh, luckily he was still awake uh so that's good news but the only bad news is when i came downstairs to get some clothes out of the laundry um you guys ever have that feeling when you guys do your laundry you know say you have like a bigger load you run it for the normal you know 60 60 or 70 minutes in the dryer you go down you try to get some clothes out and the clothes are still damp well that's what this flannel is right now so uh bad news is uh, i'm rocking a, a damp flannel until this video is done filmed and uh then but the good news is i do have an official image right here so without further ado guys let's get into it and uh this is pretty cool so there's only one image of course tomorrow uh probably early tomorrow probably even like seven or eight hours after this video is posted uh there will be you know the official box art images too of course you know there'll be a front and a back side but uh really right here this tells us everything we need to know we have uh, you know pictures of the minifigures you know hd quality and we really pretty much see what we're getting for that you know 45 dollar price point so let's show up the picture right here guys so like i said this is based off mandalorian season three episode number two uh minds of mandalore when they're pretty much down there in the cities uh you know when din goes down there to try to go take a bath uh they run into this thing so uh lego i think that uh, you know did this pretty well uh you know my quick thoughts on the build itself is it's a lot better than i was kind of expecting it doesn't look like super accurate in my opinion you know again i think that you know in the actual show is a little bit more uh, i don't know like just skinny a little bit more i don't know what you say man just like you know alien like i mean this is a lot more robotic i feel than how it looked in the show but it still works i mean it's lego you know what can they really do and at first when i kind of heard this rumor yesterday i'm like dude like what are they thinking man like, like they're giving us a snub fighter and uh, you know a spider droid you know what i mean like pretty much a spy like a crab droid almost at this point with a couple claws bro it looks like a crab droid and a lobster uh you know mixed together but i gotta be honest you know the build doesn't look too bad here but you know of course they're moving on to the minifigures this is pretty much where it carries uh we have three minifigures which you know not too bad for that 45 dollar price point uh especially if you find a 20 percent off on sale you know 45 down to 36 in my opinion a lot better of a deal than the snub fighter uh you have grogu of course which uh sadly is the same grogu um i think this is a prime example of a set where they really could have you know used his i'm um, blanking on the name man there's a there's a, a big word for that what's that called not pod but whatever he's in, man, that little, you know, that little white pod thing, I think just to kind of, you know, spice it up a bit more, they could have put him in his pod. And bottom line of it, I think it's time, bro. You know, after two seasons of Mando, we're on the third season now. I think it's time for an updated Grogu something. I get his outfit's not changed at all, but a little something different, man. You'll give him arm printing. You know, why don't we have why don't we have arm printing on Grogu? You know, uh, a little something like that. But we have Grogu, of course, the staple. I guess we'll move on to Mando. Uh, you know, since Mando is uh, there's actually something really cool with him, but luckily he is. From what I can see here, you know, ninety nine percent sure. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I'm comparing pictures here. Um, it is the new UCS style helmet. So that's a good sign, uh, but of course in the best car color, so like the the flat silver instead of the uh, the pearl dark gray. So uh, that's pretty cool. Arm printing. Uh, we have jetpack gun, of course. Uh, regular printing as every other Mando. Uh, it's hard to tell in this picture, but I would assume face underneath them. It'll be really nice if there if there is. And then we have the big thing here, guys. The new dark saber mold. Which uh, look, I'll be frank with you. You know, when I first saw this picture 30 minutes ago. You know, my eyes kind of lit up, you know, it was the first thing I saw when I woke up and I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. Uh, but now that I'm, you know, 30 minutes later, uh, I'm talking to a couple other people. Uh, you know, of course, you know, Ryan, I think has these pictures too. So uh, when I said on my Instagram, I was going to post these, he kind of slid up and, and he's kind of roasting the dark saber and look, it's not just his opinion, but I, I mean, look, I do agree. It's, you know, 10 years late. They had 10 years to make a perfect dark saber mold and uh, they still give us something pretty lackluster here. I mean, again, it's still just a regular lightsaber hilt, which it's not accurate and then you know they give us a little uh curved i'm not even sure if that's an entirely new mold is that not just one of those pieces that come in those ninjago little like accessory pack things like with all the weapons uh someone correct me down below i mean maybe i can look it up for myself before this video is uploaded but um i don't know you know the more i look at it it does look a little almost kind of weird you know i gotta be honest you know i like how the shaping's there but uh leave your thoughts down below i mean is it is it worth the 10 year wait 
uh, you know, for them to finally do something like this. I still think there's easily something more they could do if they really cared, but uh, there's that. Enough uh, complaining about a dark saber. Uh, moving over there, uh, or moving over though to Bo-Katan here. So uh, this was a big one. People were all thinking, look, of course she's going to be Mandalorian season three. Uh, they're going to put the same one in there. And uh, from what I can tell, it is the exact same. You know, it's supposed to be the exact same. I'm comparing, I mean, leg prints. Uh, from what I can tell, it's hard at this angle, but leg prints look to be the same. The only thing I can tell, but it's probably just the rendering uh, based off the two images I'm seeing, is, is the one from this set looks a little bit lighter, of course, you know, lighter blue, but uh, we know how that usually goes with these uh, renders, but I would assume it's the exact same figure through and through, aside for the arm printing here, which, you know, the old one, of course, did not have. It's a nice little touch, you know, I gotta be honest, you know, you know when you see Bo-Katan and Mando, you know, in this image, like, both of them having arm printing just looks premium, you know, it really does look good. And overall, you know, look, I think for what it's worth, I mean, for anyone that really cares about, say, value of the older Bo-Katan, um, of course, you know, she's in a foil pack, it's going to go crazy, uh, you know, or a lot of quantity went pretty crazy, but at least, you know, that's always going to be a unique minifigure, you know, through and through, you know, this is a new uh, variant, of course, there's going to be a new Bricklink listing for her uh, with those arm prints, and it's definitely one of those incentives to buy the set. So overall, that's pretty much all. Again, you know, no box art images, but I usually wouldn't make a video like this, but, you know, look, this is going to be seven or eight hours early. There are a couple pretty cool things to talk about, so I figured I would kind of do it, you know, and be the first one to kind of, you know, drop it so a shout out to my source what i will say is uh i'm glad i can share this one early and i really wish they and there's a couple different people of course i really wish they would give me the go ahead and uh i've got some images for some other star wars summer sets which you guys probably you know kind of get the hint at you know i've kind of mentioned it a little bit but um soon guys stay subscribed to the channel and uh Hopefully just like this, I can be the first one to drop them, you know, a couple hours early at least. So uh, that's pretty much all, guys. Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, do you guys think this is worth $45? Uh, you know, this is you know, it's pretty cool. That they, it's, it's strange to me. I mean, it's, I get it from LEGO's perspective why they're, you know, dropping these reveals as the episodes come out. So like I said, I think from what I've heard, the Fang Fighter should be either in episode three or four. So we might be getting that Mandalorian set revealed uh here by the end of this week maybe next week so uh coming pretty soon here guys but yeah august 1st uh 2023 uh 526 pieces 45 dollars and uh that pretty much calls it guys i'll leave your thoughts down below uh, i'm gonna go back up uh, i'm gonna edit this video go back up throw this flannel in the dryer and uh probably sit back in my bed for a little bit so uh, that's all for today guys uh please like comment and subscribe uh stay tuned for see you guys later bye guys and stay safe